Here's the elbow, which is nicely ratcheted. Listen to that. That's a big ratchet right there. Also rotates. I want you guys to check this feature out. It's a spring-loaded arm. Now, if you notice the thumb popped off, that's not normal. It's not supposed to pop off, but um, it's no big deal. It's got a little tab there. Just goes right back in. There's also armor flap on the uh, other side here. If you noticed, he has a three-fingered claw, which is pulled back right now. That's because this side also has a spring-loaded feature. And it's a pretty well-hidden button. It's this little square panel there. What you basically do, stand back and press this. And it's a, it's a pretty beautiful mechanism right there. Okay, so I've had nothing uh, bad to say about this figure so far. So you guys are wondering, well, there's got to be something horribly wrong. Um, well, there really isn't. In my opinion, he was meant to be displayed. <clears throat> He's not necessarily a toy. This would not last more than a minute with a five-year-old. Uh, even though it's high-quality plastic, it's, it's plastic, and it's not meant to endure all that torture. And if that's still not enough of a negative for you, um, I'm going to get to the worst part of this figure. But it's actually not the figure's fault. It is actually Takara's fault. And that is with their packaging. Which is huge. And that's not the bad part. The box is so huge I can't even fit it into uh, the area I have here for the camera. Can't really go back too much farther. But here you can see the uh, box. And you'll notice the outline of the uh, letters here. They have that rainbowy color. Which is pretty cool. And there you see Ypsilon. And if you're wondering why you haven't seen Ypsilon in the review, that is because Takara has made a big mistake. And forever entombed him in this pack here. Along with the weapons and other accessories. Now, my question is, why would they go through so much trouble of making like a collector box with the opening window so you can see the robot and the accessories and make this able to be opened and displayed, but not this here? I mean, that's the pilot. It should go in there, but it has to stay here. I consider myself a collector. I don't play with these robots. I display them. Um, so it's pretty much horrible that they did this because I'd like to display the figure with the robot. Um, but it's not going to happen. I'm not going to open it and ruin this. But um, if you're going to use it as a toy, by all means, go ahead rip it open. But um, just a big mistake on Takara's part. But if you're not even going to open this, this is beautiful. Um, so you can see the figure is displayed nicely there with... Uh, extra hands that come on a spruce Now these hands are obviously for for the strike dog but um here's some spare hands for the microman figure uh, the helmet version of his head here's some uh, plugs for the screw holes some silver colored antennas and I guess some extra armor here and his gun this side is where the strike dog would be displayed. The back is beautifully done. It's got amazing photographs. Very clear photographs. Um, very high detail. The box is glossy. Here we can see those rainbow color letter outlines. Very nicely done. Alright guys, so bottom line is I love it. Um, I'm glad I had the chance to buy it and review it. Um, should be able to still pick these up at a good price. But when you do find it, pick it up. He displays very well. This guy is just too cool to put down. Um, like I said, I've displayed him, but I've taken him out about a hundred times. Messed around with him. But uh, this is it for the review. I'll be back soon with more.